The 4 Series B is available in 4 and 6 channel models, and can be configured with 5 different bandwidths from 200MHz to 1.5GHz. You can buy the bandwidth you need today and upgrade later. Standard record length starts at 31.25 million points and is upgradable to 62.5 million points. The sample rate on all models goes up to 6.25 giga samples per second and doesn't drop as you turn on channels. More than 100 different trigger combinations are available, from edge triggers to much more advanced triggers. I could use pulse width triggering to stabilize this I squared C clock, but I'm going to use the included visual trigger. I'll draw a visual trigger keep out box before the burst and after the burst to get a stable trigger. Now let's turn on another channel and change the display to stacked mode. In this mode, each waveform is visually separated from the others, yet it's still able to use the full range of the 12-bit A to Ds. Say I'm interested in the activity at a specific address on my I squared C bus. I'll turn on I squared C bus decoding. I can set up a bus trigger to capture transfers to and from the address 50 hex. We get a stable trigger every time address 50 is accessed. If I want to capture a number of these transfers, I can use fast frame segmented memory to capture multiple packets that access that address while ignoring the dead time between transfers. This allows me to make the most of my record length. Say I want to store some packets that access that address. The 4 Series B can save screenshots and waveforms based on events like triggers, search results, or limit and mass test results. Act on event allows you to automate specific actions in response to signal events. There's a little bit of crosstalk on this board. Let's take a closer look. In high res mode, the vertical resolution is increased from 12 bits up to 16 bits. This takes advantage of oversampling and advanced filtering to show more detail. The 4 Series B is ideal for making detailed measurements. I'll start with the cursors. Cursors can be moved using the touchscreen or the front panel controls. If I want to make an automated measurement, I'll add a few measurements to channel 1. Peak to peak voltage, rise time, and period. Each measurement includes statistics to help you see long-term variation. The badge shows min, max, and standard deviation. Results tables provide even more insight into measurements and their variation. It provides statistics on the current acquisition and accumulated statistics on all measurements made over all acquisitions, so you can quickly see statistics for millions of cycles. I can also look at a measurement's behavior as a plot. The measurement trend shows values for the rise time measurement as it varies throughout the burst. And you can also look at a histogram to see the distribution of the measurements. The 4 Series B MSO has the performance to deliver accurate measurements and the analysis tools to turn those measurements into insights.